morning. Praise the Lord. I'm trying to get this thing. There we go. Praise the Lord, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Praise the Lord. It is Wednesday, and we're grateful for the doctor who's able to carry us through. Man, it's the middle of the week. I don't know about y'all, but I need me some medicine. Today's prescription comes from Proverbs chapter 27, verse 10. And the Bible says, don't abandon your friend or your father's friend and don't go to your brother's house in your time of calamity. Better a neighbor nearby than a brother far away. Don't abandon your friend or your father's friend or don't go to your brother's house in your time of calamity. Better a neighbor nearby than a brother far away. I've heard this. Good morning, good morning, good morning. What's interesting to me that I hear this a lot. I think I've heard it recent more than of late. I was subbing last week, last Friday, and I asked the kids, you know, tell me something that you like and tell me something that you don't like. It was like a kind of like a morning teaser to get to know each other, kind of like an icebreaker. To my surprise, that most of the kids, and these are ranging around six to eight, six to seven grade, when it came to what they do not like, they said, I don't like people. And I felt that was quite interesting because they said they don't like people. And as I was walking in Walmart last week and I was at the register, I heard a lady tell her daughter, hey, let's go this way because you know I don't like people. And so I'm hearing this same tune. <laughs> and I want to address that today because that mentality that I don't like people that's just not a true, true mentality. That's not a truth. We're actually lying to ourselves. And as I asked the kids, you say you don't like people. Do you have any friends? And they say, yes, I have friends. So you can't say you don't like people. As in the woman in the store, she has a daughter where her daughter is a person which fits in the realm of people. So you can't say truly that you don't like people. The truth of the matter is we don't like what people do, but yet we all like people. Because God has made us relational beings. So for us to say we don't like people, that is a deterrence on why we don't connect with people. Because somewhere in there, we believe the lie. And I want to, for our morning medicine, to encourage you today that it's okay to meet other people. It's okay to get to know others. Sometimes we want or have this mentality that we only want to get to know the people we already know or, man, I know enough people. I don't need to know anybody new. And I'm telling you, that mentality is not a mentality that God will want us to have because the people we do know, amen for them. God bless them. But what about the people we need to know? There's another level to this thing. 
And what I mean by another level to this thing, there's people that God says that I have put in your surroundings that I want you to connect with because they may have something for you, but you may have something for them. But when we have the mentality, nah, I, got, I know enough people, we actually start fighting against the will of God for our lives. We start fighting against the perspective that God says, I made you relational because there's more relationships that I want you to encounter. As a matter of fact, when we get the mentality that we don't mess with people, we don't like people, you'll fight against you going out there witnessing the people. Because somewhere in there, you made up in your mind that you don't have time to deal with people. See, the scripture says this morning, better a neighbor nearby than a brother far away. And I want to use that of saying we already have the brothers, we already have the sisters, but there's other people. That God says that is in your vicinity, that's outside of your scope, meaning they're not from your same neighborhood. They didn't go to the same school as you. They may not look like you. As in the same race. But yet God says. I called them to connect with you. But yet our mentality sometimes has us to not connect with who God calls us to connect with. Because somewhere in there, we believe the lie that we don't like people. We believe the lie that, you know what, I, nah, I you know, I don't get down with people. God gets down with people. For he so loved the world that he got down with people. So how can I have this mentality that I don't want to get down with people or I only want to be in the circle that I know? What if God is trying to enlarge your circle? Oh man, I don't want my circle to enlarge. I, I know enough people. Well, I thought it wasn't your circle. I thought it was God's circle. There's elements out there within others that God says you need. And also, they need something in you. But when you got this mentality or, or this way about us that we don't want to go out and venture out and we don't want to meet new people, we can be stopping the blessing that God has us to receive from other people. I just want to ask us that question. If Hebrews chapter 10 says, do not forsake the assembly, do not forsake the fellowship. Why are we so against fellowship? Why are we so against meeting other believers? Why do we only want to stay in our comfort zone? It's okay to get to know others. As a matter of fact, it's a necessity for us to get to know others. Because that connection could be the very piece that's needed to take you to that next level. And we get this mentality that we don't want to get to know others. Man, no, you know what? Nah, that, that, that's not me. That's the problem. You don't, we don't know me. We don't know us. And there's certain people out there God wants us to connect with to stretch us. And sometimes to move us to the place that he's trying to move us. What if David would have said, man, I don't, I don't mess with people and he connect with Jonathan. There was a time that he came that he needed Jonathan. But what if he wouldn't have connected with Jonathan? What if he would have said, you know what? Nah, man, I know enough people. I, I don't really like people. So he never gave Jonathan the opportunity. He never opened himself up. I'm just saying. 
Where do we get this mentality that as believers, men and women of God, that we don't want to deal with people? We become hermits, isolated. And we form this mentality, I don't like people. When the Savior that we serve loves people, some not adding up there. Some not adding up there. Look, I know your circle is, man, I love your circle. But God's trying to enlarge your circle. And amen to look at our friends that we've always known. But what about making the friends that God says, I want you to get to know? I want you to get to know because I got something in that relationship that's intended for you. And sometimes the relationship is intended for us to give to them. But in order to, to give to them, I got to I have to get to know them. And if I got the mentality that I don't like people, you'll never get to know them. Because you'll always be checking the clock when you talk to them. Okay. Uh, how do we have that mentality? Jesus told his disciples. How do you know you're my disciples? By the way you love one another. In order to love one another, I have to be willing to open myself up to get to know one another. How many people have you, have you actually asked anybody or took anybody out to dinner, lunch, to get to know them? Other believers. What about those at your job that God says, you know what, I put them there. Man, get to know them. Go out to lunch. Let them see because some people need to see that light. And what I'm saying is, it's a necessity. And we have to be willing to stretch ourselves out of this mentality that didn't come from God. Man, you know what? I don't want to mess with people. I don't know. Nah, I don't got no time for people. Man, God always has time for people. If God had that mentality, then he never have time for us. Because we're people. We're people. And yes, we don't like what people do. But trust me when I tell you, we were made to connect with people. Everybody connects with somebody. We just get into this habit of only want to connect with the somebodies that we want to connect with. No, God wants to stretch us. God wants to stretch us. What if Jesus had that mentality? Never would have connected with the 12 disciples. God is showing us an example. That he connected with 12 all different personalities. But yet God said, I'm willing to get to know people. I'm willing to get to know others. Yeah, I may take the risk of getting hurt. But for the sake of God, it was well worth it. How can we say we love God who we have not seen and hate our brother who we see daily? Come on now. How? Something's not adding up with that picture. Something is not adding up with that picture. I want us to get this in mind. 
Everybody's comfortable with who we comfortable with, who we know. But sometimes, well, no, God wants to get us out of what we do know and get to know people we don't know. Open ourselves up. Stre be stretched. Get to know and how the culture and other people and what they've uh, endured and what they've been through and how they were raised and some of their mentalities. And we get to, we do that by actually giving our time. Yeah, I, I look, it's easy to stay in the house and, and say, you know what, I'm not going to be bothered by others. But there's going to be a time where you, you're you going to want something from somebody and what if somebody had that same mentality that you have? What if, I just think about this, Jesus, when he was preaching in a house and the Bible says some people brought a man, a lame man, through the roof in order so that Jesus could touch him and heal him. People carried him to Jesus. I'm just saying, we are that people that God wants to use to carry others to Jesus. But yet, if we're not open and willing to be relational we're not willing to get to know people we don't even we won't even see the need for them to get to know jesus some people out there in dire need of our friendship so we can introduce them to the greatest friend that ever walked the face of this earth some people out there in darkness and they need our light but if we have that mentality how could we ever bring them to the light we weren't meant to go go to our job and just and just sit there and, and do our nine to five. No, because there's people there. God says, I want you there because I need them to see your light. They should see the joy of the Lord that's in our spirit. We should be the one saying good morning and goodbye to everybody. Hey, have a wonderful day. Hey, how are you doing today? And taking time out to really hear how they're actually doing. Because we say we have we serve a savior that gets to know how we're doing. So I'm just saying for our morning medicine this morning. Let us get rid of these mentalities. Let us get rid of these mind states, these that somehow we formed. And isolated ourselves from people or we only want to in this circle. We have to be willing to step outside of our circle. Some of us have moved from place to place, but have you got to know people in those places? Some of those relationships. God says it's a necessity. For your growth. But we have to be willing to get to know others. Yeah, it may be a risk. Yeah, I might get hurt. Some people disappoint. But it's well worth it. Because God takes that risk for me. Because he said it's well worth it. So how can we not take that risk with others? Expand your circle. Get out of your box. Get to know others that don't look like you. Get to know others that are not from where you're from. Fellowship with other believers in church. Go to the women's meeting, the men's meeting. And then ask some of those people to, hey, you, you mind doing lunch? Hey, you want to go to this? Find out what they do. You may like the same things they do. And there you got common ground there. That's added to the on top of that y'all both believers and you don't know what could be formed 
I'm telling you, my man, my boy that I'm real close with, oh, Kevin Hill. I'm telling y'all, there is, we night and day. Where I'm from and where he's from, from two different places. As a matter of fact, I probably wouldn't even speak to him. But yet, in God, God had me venture out. And this is about 12, 14 years ago, something like that. I don't even know the time. But he has become one of my closest friends because I stepped outside of my circle. God had me step outside and break down the walls that I had created of what I think a friend looks like, what I think and the people I'm going to only associate with. And if I were to stay locked in to that mentality, then I would have missed out the blessing of a true friend. I'm just saying today that God says for us to step outside Break down the walls that we've formed and get to know others. Get to know others. It's going to take our time. It's going to take effort. But yet, remember, God took the time and effort when it came to us. So how could I not love like he loved me? Step outside of your box. It's about time. Your circle too little. God bless you all.